You know what's better than talking wrestling, Chris? Talking movies? Talking movies. And at that point, Chris, is when I look at you and I slap your bald head and say, uh, let me see. motherfucker, the- play the theme music. It's a show by Chris and Neil with all great movies. They are the real deal. We watch them all so you don't have to. It's movies that don't suck and some that do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners of all ages, it is a new episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some That Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And today we got two, count them, not one, but two movies that we are reviewing for people out there in the movie business world. First, we're going to talk about the biggest, sexiest movie of the entire month, probably the best movie that came out the last 30 days, the awesome, the amazing Gray Man featuring Ryan Gosling. I thought you wanted me to do this. It just sounds like now you don't want me to do it. What do you mean I wanted you to do this? This is what you wanted from me. To be in this band? To be in a band, to have a steady job, you know? To to, to be, you know? Of course I wanted you to have a steady job so that you could take care of yourself and your life and you could start your club. Yeah, so I'm doing that, so I don't understand. Like, why aren't we celebrating? Why aren't you starting your club? You said yourself no one wants to go to that club. No one wants to go to a club called Chicken on a Stick. So change the name. Well, no one likes jazz. Not even you. I do like jazz now because and of you. And this is what I thought you wanted me to do. Neil, why don't you like jazz? I don't get it. Why don't you like jazz? I love jazz, to be honest. Yeah, I like yeah, going jazz, to a nice jazz, jazz bar. Shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, that's from... Uh, busy and... <laughs> that's Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone from La La Land. Right? Yes, yes. I was going to, you know, I was originally going to use the... Uh, um, one where Crazy Stupid Love with them and Steve Carell. But oh, yeah, but I think, I think we used that before. I think they we... actually won some awards there, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they won some shit. Yeah, they won some shit. Yeah, they won some shit. Uh, also in this movie, the one, the only, that's America's ass, Captain America himself, Chris Evans. I'm warning you. I am a lethal killing machine. It was a secret government experiment. It did stuff to me. Spooky stuff. Anal stuff turned me into a dangerous telekinetic. As the ancient Tibetan philosophy states, don't start none, won't be none. Yeah, so that's from uh, that's from the losers. Yeah, I know. I love the losers. <laughs> He's been in so many comic book movies. Think so? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I mean what? The losers, Fantastic Four, Scott Pilgrim, yeah, Captain America. I mean, I think people people forget he's in South yeah, Pilgrim. I really do. I think people forgot. No, I don't think they did. Okay, I think you just did. Okay. Uh, and then Anna D. Armas. Yes. It's like he was ashamed to be with me. No, I just realized you were ordering off the children's menu to save room for alcohol. You see, Vic never drinks. I drink sometimes. Sometimes I think he's not normal. Because normal people can let go. You wish that I were normal, Melinda? My God, all the time. As if I were normal, I don't think Joel would be over here having dinner with us. You don't have to be rude. Fucking awkward. Um, that's from <laughs> that's from the Last Supper. Well, I mean, it's awkward. Like halfway through the filming of that, didn't they break up halfway through the filming of that yeah, movie? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> made for drinking. Made, uh, made also, drinking right now. you know, hey, uh, also in this movie, the one, the only, you love him because he's the greatest Santa Claus of all time, Billy Bob Thornton. Performance? Yes, uh, your performance. You know, the um, performance like sexual. Excuse me? Willie. Are you saying there's something wrong with my gear? Is that what you're saying to me? I'm sorry, your gear? Willie. My fuck stick. What's funny, he said Willie, but he's also Willie's in the term for his fuck stick. So, 
His fuck stick, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you make sure you walk, you get the poster. So the first movie we're going to be talking today is going to be The Gray Man, uh, which is on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second movie that we're going to be watching is Nope. Uh, it stars Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya? Kaluuya? Right? Yeah, whatever. When I dedicated my life to the people, I dedicated my life. You did? Man, it wasn't until Manon when I realized what that looked when I realized what they meant. I was in order to survive in there. A part of me had to die, man. You couldn't, you couldn't have told me that uh, when I got out, that I had, that I had had every reason to live. That's from uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah, amazing movie. Yeah, yeah. One of his best movies that he's done. I like this one. Uh, Kiki Palmer's in it as well. This isn't about that. I told him I don't want to see him anymore because you made me. This is about me. Why do you think I hate you? Lots of reasons. Name one. Because I'm pretty. <laughs> Excuse me? Don't bug your eyes out at me. You hate that I'm pretty because you don't feel pretty. I defended you to Randy, but now I'm just trying to cut through the bullshit, mama, once and for all. You know how sad that is for you to feel that way about yourself? You are the only one you hate more than me. And no matter how much you sing that old time church music, God doesn't seem interested in helping you out with that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Woo. Damn. Yeah. That's from uh, Kiki Palmer. Yeah. yeah from All right. Yeah. Joyful noise. With yeah, the, yeah. 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 Latifa. Yeah. Also in this movie, the guy who got his brains bashed in by Negan, Stephen Yin. You see, I forgot. Okay. I forgot, or I stopped thinking about it, or maybe I didn't want to think about it. I let them lower me into that well like it was fun, like I was playing Portal. It's a video game. Of course, it's a video. And then the pharmacy happened yesterday, and I realized something. I forgot that they're dangerous. <laughs> Boy, has he grown. Steven he's Yen? such a good actor. Yeah, yeah, right? Back, I think, it, like, when he played Glenn in that scene, I think he was, like, four. Yeah. Uh, maybe, five, <laughs> maybe five years old. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what he looked like. Uh, he looked very young, yeah. very young. And then also one of the greatest cinema villains of all time is in this movie as well, Michael Wincock. Man has an idea. The idea attracts others, like-minded. The idea expands. The idea becomes an institution. What was the idea? That's what's been bothering me, boys. Because I tell you, when I used to think about the idea itself, it put a big old smile on my face. You see, gentlemen, greed is for amateurs. Disorder, chaos, anarchy. Now that's fun. That's from one of Neil's favorite movies of all time, The Crow. It's everybody's favorite movie of all time, Chris. Gosh, who doesn't like the fucking Crow, you so jackass? How, how many comic book movies do we use? Because The Crow is a comic book movie. And then Chris Evans was in. Is that the mm-hmm. only two we did for this? Uh, yeah, I think someone. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I mean, I went with what I knew. What, what do you want? <laughs> yeah. What do you want? I've had a busy week. All right, Chris, tell everybody where to get us. You can find us online at moviesdon'tsuck.net. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash podcast. We're on Twitter at NTS Podcast. We're on Instagram at NTS Podcast. You can find us at uh, Bonfire, Bonfire Comics, which movies don't suck something to do. They are, fa- you know, shirts with our faces. Uh, Neil put some stuff in there uh, for other nerdy stuff. Um, also, you go to Patreon console, News Don't Suck. Uh, give us a third three shekels because we need it because we're poor. And, <laughs> and you can find us on all streaming platforms uh, where you find podcasts, you find movies, and suck and something to do. And if you got a small business, guys, we would like to advertise it on the podcast, like this small business I'm going to talk about right now. And that is Cajun Ed's Herbert's Meat. Yes, Cajun Ed's Restaurant is a southern scratch kitchen and market. They make all their products fresh in store and put all their love into it like a true Cajun would. Now, Cajun Ed's specialty meats have like a slap, like a huge variety of everything from special meats, foul, uh, foul stuffed with a wide variety of traditional Cajun ingredients, crawfish, meat, shrimp, 
puff pastries, gumbos and stuff. So, uh, it, and they're world famous. Are you ready for this, Chris? Of course I, I know am. this is your favorite thing uh-huh. in the world. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a turducken. <laughs> nice. Turducken. Mm. But Cajun Ed's is one of my favorite restaurants right here in the local Tulsa area. Plus, they got a whole market in there where you can buy stuff that everything from seasonings to meats to pre made at Tefe, uh, you know, uh, gumbo, all the above. You know, it is literally my go to. We, we got to go the next time I come down because I, you know, I'm Cajun, right? I'm half Cajun. So, uh, Cajun food's my shit. I, I you're, you're from Texas. You can't be Cajun. No, no my, anyway, my family's from Louisiana. Um, fuck. Nah, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> fuck. Whatever, whatever crap thing you're making up this week. Uh, I can't crap thing. You, you know me for what? How long have we been knowing each other? Uh, six years now. Um, okay. So if you want to go to Cajun Ed's, it's at 2101 East 71st Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74137. You can go to their website. It's at, at Cajun. Uh, C A J U N E D on Facebook, or you can order stuff literally right now, like alligator, turducken, ham, and they will ship to you. Literally, it is at herbertmeats.com. Yeah, my great, my late great grandfather used to make the best gumbo on A2 Fay in the planet. So, oh man, and where do you buy it from? Like, like Red Lobster? Uh, do not talk about my grandfather that way, he's straight from Louisiana. <laughs> no one's straight from Louisiana, dude. Well, he's straight from Louisiana. He never left it. No, I mean, he was he, born in Louisiana. Yeah, he's born in Louisiana. I don't believe it. He's, he's born. I, in, I think that's a lie. He's born in Vivian, Louisiana, dude. There's no such thing as Vivian, he was also Louisiana. he was all fire fire marshal Louisiana for uh, in the eighties for ten years. So I think you're drinking. I'm not, I'm not drinking. I mean, I'm <laughs> drinking, but 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 just one. And so <laughs> I'm drinking water today. I'm still oh, yeah, on I know, but, I bet. last night's pay per view. <laughs> and then after the pay per view, uh, UFC was fighting. So then we watched the UFC fight next. Which one was your favorite? Like, oh, I'm not asking that question. You know, I, know the I don't even question. know UFC. I don't even know UFC anymore, bro. I don't. Um, so this week, uh-huh. I went seeing some 41 bowling for yeah. soup, less than Jake. Yeah, but that was fun. Mongolian Park, the <laughs> opening band. You mean Magnolia Park? That's what I said. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That was one thing I did this week. That, uh, that was fun, right? Uh, you look good. I, mean, I, I am the, the opinion that if anyone has a baseball tee, they look best when they're wearing it. So I like your baseball yeah. tee. Yeah. <laughs> um, then uh, yesterday I did. I worked Tokyo Con. Yeah. You mentioned Tokyo, that. Tokyo OK. You mentioned that last week. How was going on today? How was that? Uh, you know, it was cool. It was, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, man. I, I wore a Thundercat shirt yeah. so I could be cool with uh, the kids. Yeah, kind of nerdy. You know, yeah, you kind of nerdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's a, it's an anime. Okay. All right. Thundercats is anime. E-Man is an anime. Was it, though? Well, I thought these were these were originally. Yeah, based my Japanese anime companies. I okay. did like Akira and shit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Same fucking people, people. Okay. All right, man. Damn. Damn. Calm, calm why, you gotta, why do you got to question everything? I don't question everything. I just, I didn't know. So. <laughs> and plus, I looked it up, of course, because okay. I was like, if I'm going to wear something, <laughs> I want to wear something that I know about. Dude, like, it's not really uh, anime, dude. So you got you to get the fuck out of here with that. You'd be like, I'm just working this. Please don't. don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I work at a radio <laughs> station, bro. I'm just sitting here at a table giving away free shit all day. Yeah. Uh, so that was really fun. Um. Man, a lot of weird shit. I don't know. It was, man. So my boss kind of ruined uh, mm-hmm. the the con for me, the anime con yeah. last year. He ruined it for me. So like, I, I didn't get. I don't get enjoyment out of it as much anymore. Oh, you kind of nervous about it. No, he said like. He said last year, he said, this is like a pedophile's wet dream. Oh, and you're like, now I can't, like, yeah, yeah, now you feel now like a pedophile. Now I can't appreciate things. You can't be, like, cool because... cosplay without thinking that the, you're you're creeping on them. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. And I'm like, and I'm not, because I just like cosplay. It's like a thing I've done for years. Mm-hmm. So it's, it just really makes me sad. Well. Does it make you sad, Chris? Uh, I, I didn't go there, so. No, not really. So I didn't really feel. It. But um, I was supposed to see Chad Daniels on Friday, the uh, comedian, the great comedian Chad Daniels, and he canceled and rescheduled for fucking January. <laughs> so um, I'll be seeing Chad Daniels in January, and uh, my Friday night was uh, not there. So 
I didn't do anything else. But, you know. Who's Mimi LaRue? That's my mom. What did she say? She said, you are half Cajun. She jumped on for a second. Oh, yeah, she, yeah. She defended you. <laughs> She's like 100% defended yeah, you. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. Way to go, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. That's awesome. Yeah. That made, that made my whole day. <laughs> this man, the movies we're about to talk about. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, the first yeah, movie. Let's talk about the let's talk about the good one, Gray Man. Hey, fuck you. Are we really good? Mm. All right, the Gray Man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna tear Nope apart. I'm gonna rip it apart. It's gonna be I hope so you, much. I hope fun. you're lying. Um, the Gray Man. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm really not. <laughs> I think Neil has. Okay, you're gonna have a problem with it, and I I, I want to hear this problem. But let's talk the Gray Man. Oh, I got I got like four major problems with it. Four major problems. Nope. Yeah. Directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. These guys directed uh, all kinds of great stuff. I mean, you're not talking nope. We're talking Gray Man. Uh, you I said a, nope. <laughs> I know, but, but the Gray Man. The Gray Man, directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. The Russo, the Russo brothers. Russo brothers. Yeah, and of course they directed things like the you know Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier, and Endgame, and and Infinity Wars, and now they're back with Ryan. Now they're just back with Chris Evans, but they're doing the Gray Man. Uh, written by Christopher Marcus and Steve McFeely and Joe Russo. Right. Uh, this stars the amazing Ryan Gosling as Six. I thought you wanted me to do this. It just sounds like now you don't want me to do it. Uh, Chris Evans plays Lloyd Hansen. I'm warning you. I am a lethal killing machine. And at Armist plays Danny Miranda. Yes. It's like he was ashamed to be with me. And then uh, Billy Bob Rorton plays Fitzroy. Performance? Yes, uh, your performance. You know, the um, performance like sexual. This also stars Jessica Hennewick as Susan Brayer, uh, Shea Wigwam as Six's father, uh, Julia Butters as Claire, uh, and uh, man, there's all kinds of people in this one. This I can't go through all that too, too long. Uh, where there's a storyline on, on, go find the storyline and read it for us. Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, a little, I'm just a little frazzled by, by. Oh, dude, when I get to it, believe me, you, you'll see it too. Anyway, uh, um, six, a highly skilled assassin in the deep cover Sierra program of the CIA is the agency's best merchant of death. However, a mission goes bad, and now six is on the run from the CIA with a. Geo past former agent Lloyd Hansen hot on his trail, aided by agent Danny Miranda and handler Donald Fitzroy. Six must be his most ruthless to avoid Hansen, who will stop at nothing to bring Six down. So this movie is two hundred million dollars. That's how much it cost Netflix to make. Most mm-hmm. expensive movie they've Worth ever made. Every dollar. Uh, this is a okay. So. Uh, I've talked about this, and uh, I don't know if you agree, but from after John Wick happened, every movie after that needed to have that same kinetic energy to match up with it. And this movie succeeds in that kinetic energy. This is a very, very fun action movie. Very, very fun. Uh, This is very fun, very awesome, amazing, best movie of the year calm by down. far. Give calm, it a 5.1. Calm, calm, calm down. Done with it. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> this movie was amazing. Okay, I When I got done watching it, I restarted it okay. and watched it again. This is a very entertaining movie. I, I was having fun for the two hours and two minutes. And then after the second time I got done watching mm-hmm. it, it restart again. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, now, uh, Ryan Gosling, he plays a great gas kicker. He's great at that. Um, I'm of the opinion that Ryan Gosling is more interesting as a actor as than an action star, but hey, he's great in this. F- fantastic. You know, w- what is your problem? What do you, what do you, what do you, uh, what can be like that for? Oh, nothing. I was looking at the computer. Um, a program popped up that I was closing out of. Okay, fair. Uh, Chris Evans uh, plays the most amazing douchebag I've seen him ever play. Um, he's such an asshole in this movie. Uh, Anna Armas played to play Billy Bob Thornton. It was nice to see him in his beautiful hair, which was great in this movie. Um, Billy Bob Thornton's my boy, boy. He was so handsome. In this. Anybody that anybody that that, that carries a, a vile blood of their lover around their neck. 
Okay. All right. You know? Yeah. Oh, I want to mention. Angel Jolie used to do that. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Uh, I want to mention Mark Greeny wrote the book based on this. So based on the book by Great Man. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, this this had a very run of the mill um, plot. <laughs> like, 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 you know, Agent Goes Rogue. That's catch me. It's like, it's like that. So the plot wasn't anything special, but the action in it is what made this movie. Uh, yeah. it's relentless. So for that, that some goes to Christmas and the action is relentless. I couldn't wait to do the next action scene, honestly. Anytime they were fighting, anytime that uh, Ryan Gosling was kicking ass or Chris Evans was out there blowing shit up, I wanted to be there to watch it. So, um, I, I like this movie. It, now, to, to call it like great cinema would not be great, but for an action movie, for something that's entertaining and bombastic, this is the movie for you. This is, you know, this movie had two sexy men wanting to kill each other the whole entire movie. And then on top of that, you have a great storyline that goes with it that not only, um, actually this is part of the news segment, I don't care, I'll say it now. This movie's already got two sequels planned. And I mean a sequel and a spinoff. A spinoff of the Chris Evans character and a sequel for uh, Ryan Glossing's character. Fucking A, of course, because these are two of the best A-star actors in all of Hollywood right now. I mean, Chris Evans, has he done a bad movie ever? I'm sure if I search back, I could find something that wasn't the great. Fantastic. I don't think I've No, that was a good movie. You think so? Okay. Um, It was a good comic book movie for the time where comic book movies really, really sucked. Okay. I mean... (laughs) Well, you can't. we're comparing it. or comparing it to Ghost Rider. All right, all right, all right, fine. All right, fine so, uh, the Green Man is very fun. It's uh, two hours and two two hours and two minutes of uh, just straight up bloodshed and, um, and chaos and mayhem. Uh, it's very PG thirteen, which I was surprised by um, because there's there's mm-hmm. lots of uh, lots of violence in this movie. And, A lot of violence for PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have to agree on that. Um, yeah, and Anna the Arms was great in this. Billy Bob Thornton's character was uh, really good. Uh, I mean, it was a things explode, things get crazy, things get a little weird. Um, it, it was very John Wick freaking is the best way to say it. Is John Wick taken, you know. Well, John Wick taken Born Supremacy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's the greatest explanation I've heard all <laughs> all day for it. So, but the the problem is, there's no problem. I mean, the problem for me is, is that uh, no, there's not a problem. You don't really need to follow the plot that much. You just need to know the main thing is that uh, Ryan Gosling's good guy. He went rogue, and now he has to you know prove his innocence, or he has to make sure shit doesn't get out. It's a it's a yeah. It's a, a storyline we've seen everywhere. But uh, Billy Bob Thornton, I mean, I'm sorry, Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling, they are. The people that made it work. They, I mean, mm-hmm. Chris Evans plays and Billy Bob Thornton and Anna yeah. Arms. But I'm dude, all for. I them. want to mention Chris Evans as Lloyd Hansen. Such a delicious douchebag, dude. <laughs> Such an asshole. Uh, <laughs> he, he was, and that's the thing. Um, like uh, they originally, uh, yeah, I think one of the facts I have on here today, mm-hmm. uh, Evans originally was going to be the lead role. He was going to be the Ryan Glossing character, and he declined because he wanted to play the villain. And he, he he had a great good, time it seemed with it. Good choice because I I I'm like I'm glad to see Gosling back. I really am. And I love I love when he brings the porn stash out too. Yeah, <laughs> that, that just made Chris even more, Evans with the porn it, stash. It made, it, so it made him even grosser. So um, uh, yeah. So I'm sure you excited. Well, there's a there's a play he did uh in between the uh in between the two Avengers movies where he had the, the ugly porn stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody just loves making fun of him when he has that thing. Uh, that's so gross. But um but Chris Evans is back. Uh Chris Evans is uh you know, he's uh he's Lloyd Hansen in this and Ryan Gosling is six. Uh again I said Ryan Gosling is more interesting when he talks. He does a character quite he's a character in drive, not a whole lot of talking, you know? We're talking in drive but mm-hmm. but uh of course he's down there kicking ass and, and taking names and this is that movie that and and they set up they set up this movie pretty well too like uh they set up uh they gave the backstory of right uh six's character yeah uh, they, they, going they in also and, didn't they didn't front load it like they interspersed it and you got the idea of what six's character was in little snippets throughout the movie 
in the, at the best yeah. at the best like, at the best parts. You know, like 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 for example, when you know, like when he's deep in a fight scene, it reminds me something that happened to his kid. We'll get a uh, five second second of what happened, and then he goes back to it. But um. No, this, this movie did a good job of not front loading it, not making it sappy. They kept it going the whole time. You know, there's no. Oh, you know what? I, I, me and my my forgetfulness sometimes. Yeah, let's hang out where uh, everything's awesome. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I changed the background to to the the castle that they fought in at the end of the movie. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I mean this movie. One hundred percent, I agree with that. That they they took their time telling the story at the same time, still blowing up shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they blew up a lot of stuff in this movie. This lot of movies, it's a, it's a big dumb action movie, but it was fun, very very fun movie. And I can't I can't wait for the it sequel. I can't I can't wait for the sequel. I watched that in a heartbeat. You know, like like uh, I mean, I watched this on my giant television upstairs. I turned it up. I was there for it, man, and it was it was good times. Uh, so uh, the Gray Man. I, I've heard a lot of shit talking about this movie. Uh, I don't think I think you went this movie expecting like you know, uh, Citizen Kane like cinema. You were going to be disappointed, but uh, it's 2022. Uh, us action boys love action movies, and this is perfect uh, thing to come out in Netflix at this time. We needed it, so I was very happy. Yeah, and and the 100 percent man. Uh, the way to think of this movie is like. This is the kind of movie you you, you 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 get a beer, you roll a duber, whatever. <laughs> you sit down, you hang out with your friends, and you watch it. Like it's not. This is not a movie that's going to change the world. This is a movie that is just fun, and just has you know a good feeling to it. Like it's not. You know, I don't think anything political is in this movie whatsoever. Not at all, dude. Anything, yeah, like, in fact, in fact, in fact, it's anything. It just shows how nefarious the government is. Like, we got this yeah, secret yeah. program. That, you know, I don't think there's any. Yeah, I don't think you can watch this movie and be like, oh, I got this and this to fight over, and yeah, yeah. I hate all of you, and <laughs> why, why? I'm gonna go punch a baby, and yeah. uh, you know, whatever people say when they're upset. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, uh, the gray man, uh, it's. It's fun. It's it's action filled. You're not if you like action. I don't see you having an issue watching this movie at all. I think you love it. No, I don't. I don't think anybody would have. I don't see anybody having to like. I mean, yeah. If it's if you don't like action, it's the only way you're not going to like this mm-hmm. movie. And that's just the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. All right, you got quotes for this one. Stone Cold said so, bro. Okay, get them quotes for us. What? Get them quotes for us. Let's get these quotes going. What? <sighs> What? <laughs> what? All right. Anyway, hey, hey, do me a favor, Chris. Mm. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have the weirdest fun sometimes. Yeah. All right. Quotes from the movie The Gray Man. You think I'm going to rat someone out for Bubblicious? <laughs> yeah. Are you my fairy godmother? Because I thought you would look different. Uh, what's your gut? Well, my gut says it's my funeral and you're going to be next. Mostly it's loss, which teaches the worthy of things. Headquarters needed a scapegoat and his neck fits just right. I could kill anybody, maybe. Well, maybe not anybody. You sure you're all right? Yep. Yep. It's just another Thursday. I saw your name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you must be Lloyd. What gave that away? Uh, white pants, the trash dash. Uh, it screams Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How hard is it to shoot somebody? Why are you walking like that? Because I got shot in the ass, Suzanne. <laughs> Extra till mi- ten million for anyone to put a bullet in this Ken doll's brain, which is funny. It's very funny because he plays yeah. Ken in the new Harvey movie. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious when they said that. I laughed so hard. Mm-hmm. I think I rewound it and like watched that one part seven times. Uh, this is quite possibly the most spectacular failure in the history of all covert ops. You know what I like about you? You 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 look like you've been hit by a bus. And it only adds to your mystique. 
Mm-hmm. And am I allowed to chew gum in here? All right. <laughs> All right. What's your what's your what's your, what's your uh, number on this one? Mine's a three point eight on this one. I really like this movie. Uh, like it's like uh, mm, I'll go higher. I'll go three point nine. Fuck it. I'll go. I'll four. go four. I'm going four. You know what? I'm going straight you know, fucking four on okay, this. I'm going four. I'm, go, uh, I'm going four with you. Dude, by the way, I'm going four with you on this. This is a fantastic action movie. <laughs> you dude, it is. This yeah. is one of those action. This is now remember, like one of the things I go about a movie mm-hmm. is that I always say rewatchability. Oh, tons and of this it. is tons a movie. Of it. Tons of it. This is this is a movie you can rewatch a hundred times, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like true lies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where it's like you understandably of course, that's you know you're gonna what watch I, what it. What I thought when yeah. I saw this movie, when I was thinking about like the uh, amount of enjoyment I got from it. I compared it to Extraction, you know, like 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 that type of movie. Like the the action is relentless. Um, man, it's it doesn't. Mm, I, I I liked this movie a lot. Like I and for anyone who doesn't, I'm sorry, man. I guess I guess action movies aren't your thing. This is so yeah. expertly choreographed. I yeah. I mean. Mm, it's yeah, the, it's the Russo brothers at their best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's all I gotta say about yeah. that. You and know, and you can talk, and, and, and someone can talk shit all about the, you know, the the Avengers movies. If you tell me that Endgame is not a great movie, you're fucking lying to me. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, so, like, the same with the with the cat with Winter Soldier. That's a great movie. And if you think it's not, you're fucking lying to me. And if you say this yeah, movie, one hundred percent, this movie isn't isn't action like porn. You're lying to me. <laughs> this is porn. But that Chris likes watching porn. Uh, but uh, yeah, I liked it. I'm gonna I'm going to four with you. I can't Did wait you for really the, like it though. I, I'm I can't wait for the sequel. Honestly, tell me, tell me what you want. What you really really want? I want this. I want I want the Great Man too. That's what I want. All right. The, the, the only thing. The only thing. I... No, hold on, real quick. The only thing that I, I kind of laughed at, and it, I I, I uh-huh. just for example. Uh, there is a body count in this movie by both sides, just just killing constantly. Uh, but uh, but Ryan Gosling has a heart of gold at the same time. Ryan Gosling <laughs> has a heart of gold. Look at you, man. Look at you already uh, doing your thing with your thing. My thing's thing. weird. Okay, uh, yeah, I've been a little off the last couple of weeks when I'm back in. So uh, I don't know what I've been doing now, half the week. So you get four. I get this, four. This, what is the I? I'm on Rotten Tomatoes. What is the audience score? What do you think the audience score in this movie is? Um, I am going to say 82%. 91%. 91? Yeah, and they, yeah, guys. they have an audience says. It says, add this one to your queue with confidence, action fans. The Great Man has a great cast, exciting set pieces, and a solid story. Now, the Big Bad Mean Critics of this. Interesting. The Big Bad Mean Critics, what is their score? 68. 46. Huh? 46. 46? Yeah. What bullshit do they give that? The Great Man has a star-studded outline of the entertaining action thriller, but it's filled with lukewarm leftovers from far better films. Man, uh, mm, uh, this this one is a... Mm. Mm, yeah, that's how I feel about it, too. Uh, mm. like people, some people call it boring. Some people said that, that they're, they have a problem with the screenplay, but they're missing the point. Like, they're missing the point of this movie. The point of this movie is to have a fucking reaction. I'm not, I'm not looking for Citizen Kane 2 here. I'm looking for, for fucking uh, the Gray Man. And he, they delivered the Gray Man for me. So thank you. Yeah, what, the, what, yeah, what, what, what did people want? Yeah, yeah. Like, what am I missing here? Yeah, yeah. So, Gray Man. Am I missing something? I, I, don't, I don't know, man. But the Gray Man. Uh, Netflix, uh, I really hope this saves them. I hope they, Netflix sees them putting in Gray Man 2. I hope. Yeah. I hope it saves your face. All right, man. Do you, uh, do you like your face? But uh, I think I think I'm ready no, for news, like man. I think I'm ready for news. Why are you always ready for stuff I don't? I'm not ready for yet. <laughs> you still pulling it up? I'm I'm just pulling up like some of them. Okay. I got a bunch of them ready. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'll start with the, the others. Yeah. Um, it's just you know why I'm tired. Of it. Just. Did you? Did you? What are we doing today? What's going on in this world? No, I didn't. You did. You mean me? This is the movies don't suck and some of them news. I'm gonna read stuff. Chris is gonna act like he doesn't know about it, and we're gonna be awesome. 
All right, what you got for me first? <clears throat> All right, first, let's go ahead and get uh, the ones I was talking about over um, during the last review. The Green Man spinoff from Deadpool Riders, Green Light from Netflix. Uh, the, Green Man uh, the Green Man franchise is now underway with a spinoff announced alongside a sequel. Despite the Green Man have only been reading the Beast on Netflix, it has already got a whole franchise plan. Yeah. I a hope. whole franchise. And we'll watch it. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude. I mean, we're, I get it. It's going to happen. Uh, Grand Man 2 has now been given the green light by Netflix as well. Um, they, The Russo brothers are back. They're going to be doing it. And they go, what we're doing on Grand Man that's different is we're going to answer every question in the first movie. Joe Russo said uh, back in 2021, this is being conceived as a series of films. And again, potentially branching out, we could follow other characters, but we're not going to answer every question in this movie. So you're going to finish the movie and have a complete story, but you're still going to have questions about the wider universe. And I think that's one way to break the model down a little bit. Yeah. I'm looking for the agreement too. And the- and the series that follows. Yeah. I wonder when the, the series probably in that place has to be, right? I mean, so like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, Maris, uh, Marisa Ab, Abla, <laughs> Abla is eyed for the Amy Winehouse biopic. Like, like, right? Okay. I mean, yeah. Do we need it though? Do we need yeah, it? of okay. course. Okay. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be a lot better than that Bob Dylan one I saw recently. Gosh, what's what's about Dylan that we saw, we saw recently? It, I'm not there. Nothing. I'm just okay. kidding because uh, I wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> you know, what I did. You know what I did watch this week? What's that? Um. Either. What's happened? Why? You, why you stop? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. What happened? All, all the monitors. All my monitors just flashed <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> all right. What movie did you watch this it, week? It's a new setup here. It's a new setup here. <laughs> Uh, I, it was a documentary about Guar. Oh yeah, on on Shutter, the yeah. greatest, uh, the, one of the greatest punk bands of all time. I'm not a punk band, but a metal band for sure. Yeah, they are. They're not punk. At one hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Watch the freaking documentary, Chris. Okay, I, I, it was I, a, it was, it was a punk band named Death Piggy and that they, went and turned into being Guar because they had a sci-fi guy next to him. I, I they didn't you, change I, I, more to heavy metal. They didn't change to heavy metal until 2003, 2005, fine. which was already 20 years after they'd been developed. They, they, they were a different band altogether. They're not a punk band. They're a different band altogether. They're punk. Um, let's move dude, on. If you, dude, dude, I'm not, do we have to have this argument every show? Do every show have to have this argument? Yes, because I want you to know that there's more than just one genre of punk. Uh, of course, there's more than a genre of punk. No, you don't believe that. Yeah, I do absolutely believe that. Machine Gun Kelly's punk. Uh, Green to, Day. To you. Green, yeah, Green Day are punk, for sure. Blink-182. Yeah, punk. Pop punk. punk. Pop punk, for sure. Yeah. Ava Levine, punk. Mm, pop, but- Her name's literally the punk princess. And she's wrong. <laughs> but, but, um, no, she's not, Chris. You want? You, I mean, if you want to call someone the punk princess, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely call Jim Jet punk. Jim Jet's rock. She's punk. Punk rock. The Runaways. Rock. The Runaways are punk rock band. No, that, that's a metal band. The Runaways are a punk band. The metal band. Okay, well, we're gonna have this fucking argument again. Anyway, Guar. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it! Talking about, I'm gonna arguments. cut this out of the, of the podcast. Uh, you know, like I'm, so, I'm cutting this no, part you're out. Not. No, you're not. Yes, I no, am. You're not. No, you're not. If you do, then I'm gonna edit this video with just this part, and I'm gonna <laughs> upload it everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, talking about arguments. Uh, Sylvester Stallone hates everybody, and he hates MGM, and he calls MGM's. Uh, takeover on the new Drago spinoff mm. about, you know, yeah, yeah. good old Dolph Laundriff and his family. Yeah. Uh, pathetic. He needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> like, that's what uh, Sly does. He's, a, he's an old cranky man now, so he's going to talk shit about everything, you know? He took to Instagram to voice his disapproval of the news with some unsavory remarks. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. 
Another heartbreaker. Just found out this. Just found this out. Once again, this pathetic 94-year-old producer and his moronic, useless vulture children, Charles and David, are once again picking clean the bones of a wonderful character I created without even telling me. I apologize to the fans. I never want Rocky characters to be exploited by these parasites. By the way, I have nothing but respect for my true friend Dolph Locker. So my favorite thing about, about Sly is that mm-hmm. he took the Instagram like Donald Trump took to the, the Twitter. He just starts saying shit. And he, I'm like, yeah, I get it, dude. I get it. I get it. Uh, you don't like that the fact that they're, that they're, uh, that they're appropriating everything, but that that's what capitalism is, man. It destroys art in the worst way possible. So, sorry. Uh, I mean, you, I know you, you, you say this, uh, Sylvester Sloan, but you made five fucking Rocky <laughs> movies. Not one story. Not, uh, not all of them great either. Not all of them great. No. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> the Machine Gun? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Calm the oh fuck down, gosh. son. Sly, you need to calm down. Calm down, Sly. <laughs> because of the success of Top Gun Maverick, we are going to get the greatest sequel we've been waiting for this whole entire time. We're all going to get it. That's right. Legally Blonde 3 is going to happen because of the success of Top Gun Maverick. What? what how do those things even come together? Is it because uh, we're going to bring a sequel to a movie that wasn't that great? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know about you. I think you like Legally Blonde one quite a bit. I can see in your eyes that you like Legally Blonde, and you're not afraid. Dude, Legally Blonde one and two are fucking yeah, hilarious. See, see I knew, I knew that, I knew that would be that. your response. You cannot wait for Legally Blonde three. You'll be, you'll be the first Dude, to see it. I love Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> She's adorable. She's like one of those people that, like, when she talks and acts, I'm just like, oh, you're, so, you're just, you're just, you're just so cute. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm still hoping that Illegally Blonde 3 uh, is going to come together, says Reese Weatherspoon. It's just like Top Gun. They waited a long time to make another version of the movie, and I love the nostalgia piece they incorporated in it. So definitely they gave us a lot of inspiration about what we would do with Ella Woods and make sure that we had those same touchstones that mattered to people back then. I feel like these characters are my friends, so I safeguard them. I would never make a subpar, mediocre version of their story. Okay, I mean, talk to Maverick. Legally Blonde 3, man! Woo! I'm down. Okay. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad you're excited um, for a sequel to a movie that's 30 years old. Joe Lynch is going to be doing a body swap horror movie, and it's going to star Heather Graham and Judah Lewis. I watched that. I watched that right away. All, all, all day. Yeah, yeah. All day. Uh, he did the recent miniseries. Uh, if you don't know who Graham is, he recently did the miniseries The Stand. Um, also did uh, Twin Peaks uh, episodes. Um, so they've been fortunate enough to work. Uh, oh, sorry. Stuart Gordon uh, directed all the films. Uh, uh, he said this. We've been so fortunate to work with the top talent behind and in front of the camera on recent films at Amps. It's about developing not only memorable thought-provoking material for an audience, but fresh and unusual enough to attract the very best creative collaborations. I was ecstatic that when first formidable Joe Lynch, the Heather Graham, and then Heather Graham signed on, her natural charm is always to be thrilled and invited to join season pros at Amp, and we can't wait to get this movie started. Joe Lynch was at Panic Fest? <laughs> he uh, introduced me. He's like, I didn't have anything to do with this movie, but here's the movie I wanted to come talk about. Joe, I watched um, I watched the movie with Joe Lynch. It was pretty fun. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Um, talking about sequels, mm-hmm. here's another one that I know you're gonna like. Of course, uh, VHS ninety nine to uh-huh. premiere on Shutter this October twenty. Shutter is fucking killing you. They're they're bringing the best movies to the platform. They really are. It's it's insane. Like if you, so, I mean, they're bringing some. They're not bringing the best movies. I mean, Gray Man's not on Shutter. Well, I'm talking about like the best horror films. How about that? The best horror, horror films are coming to Shutter. For yeah, sure. Moon Knight is not on Shutter. <laughs> Stranger Things is not on Shutter. Well, well, Shutter <laughs> but uh, but uh, are you uh? Did you see? Did, did you see Deadpool? And uh, was on now on Disney Plus. 
Did you see Deadpool's on, did you see Deadpool, Deadpool 2 and Logan are now on Disney Plus? Yeah, I reported it to you last okay, week. I watched it. I watched it last night. Or not last night, never before last. So. You, 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 you're like, oh, new segments. I don't listen to those. I do listen to new segments. I comment on every single story, generally. Even if it's just a cool. <laughs> I do comment on it. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was wondering if you just, if you took advantage of that. Just wondering. So, what's the next news story before you, uh, your head explodes? James Gunn wants to make an R-rated Scooby-Doo movie. They, well, that, yeah, kind of, but they kind of took that out of context. He said that he would. He, I mean, we, you'd watch that, though, right? He wants to do it. You'd watch but it. But he just don't got the time for it. Oh, oh yeah. Freddie, Fren- and Freddie Prince uh, Jr. So I said, rightly or wrongly, they don't have the guts to make that movie. And he's like, fuck you, we do. <laughs> I, hope, I hope they do now. I don't think it's just because of that. Mm-hmm. Deadpool 3 will be a big swing, says Marvel boss Kevin Foggy. Mm. How do we evaluate in the way we've been able to do Civil War, Infinity War, and Ragnarok? It's very fun to be in the world of Ryan Reynolds, of the Ryan Reynolds show. <laughs> so the multiverse yeah. is to open up uh, the door for every single X-Men character, every single Deadpool, every character <sighs> that's ever do you, can, can you mute that when you do that, dude? Uh, like, what's going on with your with your throat? I can't hear you. Muted yourself. I was gonna say I thought I muted it. I'm like, oh yeah, I smoked like a pack of smokes last night, dude. I'm freaking my throat's killing me right now. Okay, well, okay. Sorry, uh, I thought I muted myself. I'm gonna have to cut my that out. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, man, with the multiverse opened up with uh with um with multiverse of madness. Every single X Men character, every Marvel character that you've ever loved or didn't love, we can has the possibility to show up in any movie that's Marvel moving forward. So, yeah, I'm, I'm I'd like to see Deadpool. And then, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just listening to you. Jesus. Okay, you should get like no. What's wrong every five seconds? You were going no. You like, you're like my you're like my freaking first wife, man. She like bothered me all the time. It's like, what's wrong? It's like. I, I, nothing was wrong. You know, what the fuck? You know, are you going to break up with me? Don't you love me anymore? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't love you anymore, Chris. This is, not, this is not how I thought this relationship would go. Okay. What's, Why? what's next? All right. Let's get, let's get this other stuff done. All right. Um, Laura Croft role is gone. Alicia Van Carter will not be coming back because MGM lost the rights. Of the Tomb Raider movies, so uh, I guess I guess yeah. we're not getting the other Tomb Raider. I expected another Tomb Raider Alicia, but now there's a reboot again. Are we going to get the the Lara Croft story yeah, for the I third guess. time? Yeah, is losing the right. Uh, word is that the next Tomb Raider film would be a result, be a total reboot with no. But this is like the third movies. reboot of the movie. I know, man. It's just <laughs> like, dude, come on, just let, let let a series play out for yeah, once. Yeah. <laughs> We don't need a reboot. All right, and then, um, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, Martin Scorsese joining together to touch each other in, in pure ways, known as the movie The Wager is going to be coming out. So, like, he's a legendary got- actor director <laughs> duo recently wrapped another film for Apple, Killers of the Flower Moon. Boom. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't wait for that. Um, and so now exciting. they're going to be doing another movie called Wager: A Tale of Shipwreck. Mutiny and murder. He cannot. Martin Scorsese said, I thought the Irishman was like his swan song. In no fucking way. He's just going and going and going. You know? Yeah. He's just like, oh, no. I learned what cocaine was again. Yeah. And he just kept going. <laughs> like, he did the Irishman, and someone must have, you know, fed him some something. Yeah. Like, he's now, now he's, uh, Martin Scorsese. John Coffey must have put some more life into him. <laughs> you know, like, so uh, yeah, two more movies. I'm I man as long as Scorsese's you know feeling well, I'm a, a happy to watch movies he made. So you know what I'm happy about? What are you happy about? Our last news story. Okay, spit it out. Ben Affleck is returning as Batman. What? Okay, so he was. <laughs> He was. Is he going to show up in the new Aquaman movie? 
Yes, it would be an Aquaman 2. Okay. Um, the Lost Kingdom. Um, Aquaman, you know, which is a sequel, Aquaman, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. best DC movie of all time. Yeah. Um, like, literally better than Superman Christopher Reeves, better than Batman Michael Keaton. Aquaman is hands down one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Finally, we get the sequel. So, uh, um, if it wasn't for Aquaman, Justice League could have happened. So, I'm wondering, did he sit down? He, he offered it. He sat down. He told he told Jen. I was like, listen, I said I wasn't going to do any IP, but they offered me millions of dollars to do this. And I'll be honest, I was wearing the bat suit. Should I do it? And she goes, do what makes you happy. And so, but it's coming back to me. You think J Lo said that to her? Yeah. They're together. They're married. I'm sure you discussed this to career moves with her at some point. Aquaman and Lost Kingdom will now arrive <laughs> March 17th, which I don't know why you're releasing it on St. Patty's Day. I don't know if you want a bunch of drunk fuckers at the movie theater. But that's one of your, that's one of your favorite your holidays, right? Luck on that. That's one of your favorite holidays, right? Yeah, but you can't. You don't go to the movies on St. Patty's Day. You go to the bar. I mean, it's going to take at least three days for people to go see that movie after that. I saw someone back into three cars on St. Patty's Day and then drive away. Uh, in Dallas, so that that was that was a fun day. And then three months later, the Flash will debut on June twenty three. Oh, poor Ezra, <laughs> poor Ezra. He needs. They need to. Uh, they need to to reevaluate what's going on with their life. So, I, I think Ezra can. Make the it. reason now 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 the reason um uh bat bat uh, Batfleck is mm-hmm. going to return. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because they showed the Aquaman 2 film to the test audiences, mm-hmm. you know, like they do in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. And everybody was really fucking confused on why Michael Keaton, Batman, was in the movie and not Ben Affleck. But I want Michael Keaton, Batman, in the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's why. So, I, I, yeah, well, we're still going to get this movie. I mean, The Flash is. Is going to get buried, and some guy is going to play him besides Ezra Miller from here point on. I mean, it is Flashpoint. You know how it is for them just to say, oh, he tripped over a wire, and now he's a completely different looking guy? You, you don't think that's, 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 that's too much of a stretch to do? To make them Flash someone else look like someone else? No, it's the Flashpoint Paradox. So okay, they- in the Flashpoint Paradox, Superman uh, was... Superman was kidnapped by the Russians and is in a shelter. Nobody even knows he existed. Thomas Wayne is Batman, not Bruce Wayne. Uh, like, I, I I mean, Wonder Woman and Aquaman are fucking, and they're, like, leading all, oh, no, are in war together, and they're fucking on the side. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, you got the people going against the, the Amazons, going against the, you know, the people to see under the sea, Atlanteans, that's it. Okay, well, we'll see what... Yeah, that's the end of the news. Let's talk this last movie. That was the movies don't suck and some of the news. Now, let's move on to Jordan Peele. All right. Nope. Directed by Jordan Peele. You guys know he's the director Get Out and Us. Uh, because they're one of the most exciting filmmakers today. Twilight series. Don't forget the Twilight series. Yeah, the Twilight Zone series. He did that. Uh, this stars Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah, really good Twilight series. Fucking awesome. Twilight Zone series. Uh, this stars, he reunites with Daniel Kaluuya, who was O.J. Haywood. When I dedicated my life to the people, I dedicated my life. He did. Also, Kiki Palmer as as mm. Emerald Haywood. This isn't about that. I told him I don't want to see him anymore because you made me. Brandon Perry plays Angel Torres. Michael Wincott. Your boo, your boo, your boo. It plays Antler's host. Man, has an idea. Uh, Stephen Yoon plays Ricky or Jupe Park. You see, I forgot. Okay, I forgot. Or I stopped thinking about it. Or maybe I didn't want to think about it. This also stars um, Keith David. As always, Haywood Senior at the very beginning. You know, the thing. You guys know the thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, in uh, We're Coming for a Dream, Ass Ass. Uh, Rin Schmidt plays Amber Park. Devin Gray plays Ryder Moobridge. Uh, and Terry Notary plays Gordy. Plays Gordy. Uh, why don't you read the storyline for this one? 
After random objects falling from the sky result in the death of their father, ranch-owning siblings O.J. Simpson and Enroll <laughs> Haywood attempt to capture video evidence of an undignified flying object with the help of tech salesman Angel Torres and documentary Antler's host. So since I went ahead and started talking about this movie, I want to hear your problems with it right away. 45 minutes of this movie doesn't need to exist. There's a whole character subplot that literally has no point of being in the fucking movie. Uh, this is why I want to do the spoiler discussion because I think you're fucking wrong. No, I that. don't. I, I think There's you're... a whole character you can completely take out of this movie and it has no difference in what happens in this fucking in 100 movie. Minutes. A whole One... 30 minutes of this fucking movie could get thrown in the damn trash and it wouldn't change one thing about this damn you're 100% movie. wrong. 100% no, wrong. Yeah, really? you are. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Uh, then tell me what, what it would change. Wait, okay. So are we going to yeah. spoil this movie? Cause I don't want to. Huh? You, you said you wanted to. No, no, but I don't want to spoil this movie right away. I mean, we can talk about oh. what, but well, okay. All right. So why, why we're thinking this, uh, why we're going to talk about this. No, and, and you, the, the subplot you're talking about Stephen Yoon's character. Is that what you're talking about? Huh? You talking about Stephen used to uh, subplot and why he the was monkey. in it? The monkey's not yeah. necessary. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent necessary. And I argue about this. I'll tell you about it after the podcast. Oh, you know what? That's great. You're going to argue about this because I literally just watched seven, seven review things, yeah. and each one of those guys had the same agreements with me. Well, no, and but, anybody that argues that because you didn't get the artistic view. No, no I got no. the artistic view. It was shit, and I fucking moved on. We'll talk about this, and we'll do a quick spoil on it. But the monkey thing makes complete sense to me, and I no I, nothing whatsoever. One hundred percent. Yes, it does, dude. It, it one hundred percent means something. There's no point. Yes, it was. And no, you were. It's like, hey, are you not hey, seeing it, dude? Are you not seeing why the monkey is important to this movie? Yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, for yeah it there important. is, and we'll talk about that later. Okay, but but okay, uh, we'll talk about it later. Okay, then we'll do a spoiler section. Okay, all right, all right, but anyway. Hey. All right, so let's talk about the normal movie. Okay. There's a movie, um, supposedly it's aliens. We don't find out to a certain point in this movie. Uh, it's about people in a horse ranch. Uh, like, there's this, okay. The problem with this movie is that there's no payoff. And, like, and that's the but problem. Dude, but, dude, that's the, the problem. You're talking, uh, uh, talking about us? No, You're talking the, about us? You yeah, answer. us in this movie. Pfft, like, this is the problem. You have this incline when you're doing this kind of film where you, it has a very slow build. Like, the first hour, like, takes forever to get through. Like, uh, you could probably have gone around. To, you probably could have gone to the moon and back in the time it took the first hour to get done. So then we finally get to the main point of this fucking movie. And by the time we get there, the payoff isn't worth it. It's not worth the, the the time I put into this movie. See, this is this is a, I was afraid this would be your view on it, but I didn't want to believe it. I mean, it. I know, <laughs> and I didn't want to believe it either as I'm sitting there in a the film. And then when I go watch other freaking people that review movies and they agree with me. Well, dude, but you and I both know, uh, as evidenced by the mm-hmm. last movie, the critics always don't get shit right. Not these aren't critics. These are just people on on the good old YouTube's that comes on here and just you know give their review. They're not freaking critics, as in critics that get paid money by Hollywood Reporter or you know Rolling Stone or whatever. But the whole point, okay, this is the thing. There's directors that are really good at giving you a good ending. Jordan Peele is really good at executing things on a screen, but he doesn't know how to give you the exclamation point at the end or the period at the end. He doesn't know how to end anything. And that's what my problem is right now. Because with us and this movie, again, by the time it got to that point of the movie, there was just like, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the time spent. I, I, I'm gonna say I it's not rewatchable because as soon as you you get but that, that's like saying a ton of movies are not rewatchable. It's like saying a ton of huh? them aren't. Like to me, okay, to me there were a bunch of 
I've seen this movie, for example, the house scene, which was straight up fucking terrifying. There is some horror in this movie. But I, I, no, no. I mean, by any means, yeah, there's some terrifying parts. And that's where Jordan Peele knows how to execute. But the ending did not execute. Mm, and therefore, I had a whole theater of people that were groaning on the way out. I, I, I mean, that's fine, dude. Uh, I, I thought I was fine with the ending. In fact, I, I liked the ending of this movie. Uh, I, I thought that the, the, the whole the whole concept of it, and what you find out about the whatever's in sky, because I don't give it away. I thought that was mm. something I'd never seen before. I thought that was really interesting. I did. It was I, called um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yeah, Close Encounters of the Third Kind is different. That, but the oh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Again, different. Independence Day? Uh, very different. <laughs> but, no, 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 they're not. No, uh, I'm saying with the... with the, mm, We'll talk about this on this forward section, okay? Why? Because this is why they're not different. Because at the beginning of the movie, the main characters thought... They knew what was going on. At the end of the movie, it was revealed that it's completely different than what they want. But that, that's like every fucking good uh, like movie. Every good every good movie where the things change around. No no one figures it out at the beginning of the movie. But so, uh, I'm telling you right now. My thoughts on this movie. No. My thoughts on this movie. No. Yeah, give me your give me your deep intellectual thoughts on the movie that nobody understands. Okay, no one understands it. Uh, you didn't understand one of the main plots of it. No, no, I one hundred percent understood. No, you, uh, no you, it was dumb, but no, I no, understood it. No, 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 you don't understand. If you didn't understand what the monkey's no, no. there, Chris, listen to my my words. I understood it. It was dumb. I moved on. I don't think you did because you have no clue why the monkeys in the fucking movie. Anyway, yeah, there's no point in it. No, we'll talk about it. We'll talk yeah, about why it's dumb. there. No, it's <laughs> dumb because you you're like, what is the point? I'll tell you the point of it. But that's in the right, You can tell me your made up point, but I get it. It's not made up point. It's it makes it complete sense. Point. It's so easy to understand what you. I don't think you'll change no. your thought on the movie because you already decided you hate this movie. But that's that's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. Not everyone has the same the view on the movie. We just disagree on this one. I love Nope. I thought Nope was great. I thought it was shot beautifully. I thought the characters were great. I thought the build was great. I thought Stephen Yoon's character was amazing. Uh, we'll talk about that after the spoiler. I think this had all the hallmarks of a... It felt very spielberg at points, like talking about Close Encounters, but it's not because it's, it's scarier than that. Uh, it's not as good as Close Encounters. Close Encounters is an amazing movie. Uh, but I got, a lot of, I got a lot of homage to that. This isn't as deep as Get Out or Us. There's no underlying themes that... That or symbolism that are uh, super pertinent because it's just Jordan Peele making a horror sci-fi film. Uh, there's a few things, uh, and people will be talking about it after, like it really meant this, really meant that, and it's if anything, it's 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 not as deep as people think it. It's not you don't have to read that too much in, into it. But when it comes to plot points and building a story and character motivations, Jordan Peele does a a fantastic job, and I. I, I, I knew coming out of this, a lot of people wouldn't like it. But I was afraid that Neil wouldn't like it, and that's fine. You don't have the same thing as I do. But us, to me, is Jordan Peele showing us he can still make a great movie, and it doesn't have a lot, it doesn't need when? a ton to say. When? When, when is he going to show us he can make a great movie? This one, you don't like Nope? That's fine. I love Nope. I thought it was not great. a great movie, Chris. That's to why you, I'm trying to, to tell you. To you. You, you just said he's showing us he can make a great movie again. Nobody agrees that this is a great movie. Okay, I mean, like uh, that—that's fine for you. I, I like, I like. Nope. But a I, lot. great. A it's lot. not a great movie. To you, a to you. great movie has everybody in agreement. It's a great movie. Gone with the Wind. Great movie. The, the Gray Man is forty-six in on fucking Rotten Tomatoes. We just talked about this. We just had discussion about about uh, Chris Sonic Green. This has an eighty percent Rotten Tomatoes. So does that mean it's not a great movie? I don't know what the fuck you want. Everyone has a different thing, and you. I'm sorry you didn't like this movie. Now I'm really sorry. It's not a great movie. I'm to you beginning to question my ability in liking Jordan Peele. Okay, uh, what's just well, that, that's how good. bad this you, movie you, was. It's you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Jordan Peele. You're full of shit. No, seriously. Now I now I want to re like review all the freaking movies he's ever done. That's how you hate this and, movie. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your damn dude, mind? Dude, that's how bad this movie. Are is. you out of your fucking mind? Really? 
Dude, it was so boring. Do you do you have quotes? Because I can't wait to get the spoiler section on this one. All right. Take a look at all of that. Since the moment films can move, we had skin in the game. One chimp set his limit, and it was six... 613 minutes of chaos and havoc. Your therapist, yes. I fuck one from time to time at least. Yeah, it looked like big. Like big. It was big. She got a show on the CW, then left him. They are futuristic humans coming back to stop us from destroying the earth. Run, OJ, run! Thought that was funny because OJ Simpson. Ran. Yeah, I gotcha. Mm, there is something out here, and you're the only one that can get it on film. No, Gordy, you are sick. We are being. We are being surveyed by a group I like to call the observers. It's alive. It's tutorial. It thinks this is its home. You can't tame a predator. Ask Sigmund and, for, and Roy. Mr. Purple People Eater, please don't eat me. And nobody fucks with Hayward, bitch. Okay, so uh, I gave my score last time. First, do your score on this one. Um... 2.5? You give this is STD it's an STD. Fuck you. Yeah, dude. It's it's barely something to do. Okay, my mind's sorry. a four, mine's a four point two on this one. This is probably the, I'm sorry. I'm this, sorry. This, this is probably the biggest probably the biggest chasm we had since since uh since we've done the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh I, I can't sc- wait to tear it apart. Are you scoring this one? <laughs> Audience score is probably gonna be some stupid like seventy eight percent. Seventy percent. I, it may not yeah. be the movie you think you're going to get, or you're the one you want, but either way, nobody's as strong and pressing as true, as true Jordan Peele original. Uh, I uh, mm-hmm. Craig scoring this one. Probably eighty-one, eighty-two. Okay. Admiral yeah. for its originality and ambition, even when its reach exceeds its grasp. No bad Spielbergian spectacle. Jordan Peele's growing arsenal. Uh, guys, I'm going to play the theme song. Uh, we're, what are we doing next week? We're doing... Uh, I have no idea what we're doing next yeah, week. I know there's a gonna, bunch of things that yeah. came out on Netflix this weekend. Yeah, so the, uh, we I, I, did, I did send you one that I saw in theaters on Thursday. But we'll, what was that? It's called Vengeance. You were probably drunk when you read it. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I've I'm, I'm also been working events right. like nonstop, dude. All right. So like, uh, we'll when see. I see things sometimes... Me and Neil are going to argue for a good... Uh, for I don't know how long. On the end of this one, seventeen hours, dude. Yeah, but if you guys, if you guys, uh, you guys come back next week, we'll definitely have a uh, new movies to talk about. But I'm gonna play the outro. We'll see you guys. Then once the outro is over, me and Neil are gonna tear into Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna defend it. Neil's gonna just keep on yelling at me about it. So uh, we'll see you guys soon. And here we go. You sent me David Bowie, and you sent me uh, Pearl. You didn't send me any other trailers. I didn't see a trailer for Vengeance. I just saw it in theaters. Oh. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, nope. Okay, so do you want me to explain to you the, so, the Gordy, the, the Gordy no, part? Oh, yeah, please give me this. So, Gordy is Stephen Yoon's Rosebud. It explains why. Yeah. Yeah, that explains why Stephen Yeun is. Well, Stephen Yeun's character wasn't even that big, that big of a reference in this movie. But just because he owns the ranch thing, it could have been any old white guy or any old freaking guy, whatever. It like his story had no reflection on anything that happened about the alien ship in the sky, except for that he fed it horses. Whoopie do the monkey has no reflection on anything in the movie. The, mo- the monkey explains out. just like Indiana Jones isn't really needed in Raiders of the Lost Ark. It explains, Stephen Yoon is, uh, the, his Gordy explains why he's 
why he's so excited by this alien craft that you think he has an understanding of because he thought he had an understanding of the fucking monkey. It was to me the right. most one of the most interesting parts of the of the movie. Like to me, the interesting part was with that part of me was pretty interesting. Also, I've never seen a a um a monster like that. It's not really an alien; it's a monster. I mean, alien, but but the, the ship is not even. It's an alien because it's not from our planet. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But, um, but but it's not really. It's not really what yeah, you think. The it whole is. monkey subplot subplot literally has nothing to do I think with you're anything. Wrong. At I the think end you're of the movie. wrong. Okay, so if that monkey never happened in this movie, mm-hmm. that alien ship never comes to the house, never yeah. kills the horses, whoever's feeding it doesn't feed it. What? What do you want? That's like saying that's like saying that the the Los, okay. An- Los so Angeles because exists. this monkey happened, this all happened. The, the monkey's part of it, dude. No, it's, it's not. It's a, it has nothing to do with anything. Mm. That's like saying, hey, you know what? You know what has something to do with this right here? Was the one time I fell off my bike in second grade. Do you scar right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's and it. because of that, that's how this movie pops No, this whole movie happens. comes together because the, 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 the spaceship is part of it. The spaceship is part of the story. We're telling the story about this, this alien. The ranch is a big part of the alien. That's like it's fed a lot of the time. So if you want, you want to say that, if you want the, so if you're looking at it from the point of, of what does that do with the story? It's it's part of that whole area that that that's how it gets fed. That's why he thinks he can do this. So you're saying that the ranch has nothing to do with it, but it, but if we're building a story about that spaceship, I never said anything that the ranch should have anything to do with it. I said the monkey has literally nothing to do with the ranch. Uh, has nothing. No, to the do The monkey with monkey explains to me his character's motivation for having this for for having this spectacle. It, it explains everything. It's his rosebud. It made the way way he is. He thinks he can tame it. He thinks he can but get with a wild it animal. Wasn't but he a can't. Major part of the movie at all. It was though. It explains Stephen's no. character. It one hundred percent explains no. it. Uh, it that's it, what it I thought about it. Character, which doesn't need to be in the movie. But you're, you're, now you're saying that the the rant, that 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 theme park shouldn't be in the movie when it's actually part of that whole plot. The the monk the the spaceship got a lot of its food from there. It got a lot of shit from that theme park, so it's part of it in that aspect of it. Great, monkey doesn't need to be there. Um, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I just feel like, okay, so next time we go see a movie, mm-hmm. no matter what movie it is, <laughs> okay. whatever that main character is, I want to make sure I know about their abuse as a child. I want to make sure, I want to know what uncle touched them. So we know why this character Can you not is trivialize child abuse? Can you not trivialize child abuse and call it that way? And I mean, no, no, I just want to know that that's exactly what you're saying here. That's not what you're saying that we need to know every tragedy that ever happened to these main characters or not. We're not just going to understand the reasoning behind what's going on. I appreciate really? Jordan. I appreciate Jordan Peele showing this. I appreciate him for really? making, yeah, for, for, for explaining Steven Yeun's character. So you want every movie to be three hours long now and have, like, so many subplots that have nothing to do with the main story whatsoever just so you have a nice little story about you and, someone's no, abuse. You and, I, you and I disagree about, about why it was there, and that's fine. That's fine. We can disagree. No, it's obvious you like watching children get abused by monkeys. It's no, I didn't. I didn't know. And the children was abused. Everyone else was abused by the monkey. But that means everybody was abused by the monkey. You love monkeys killing things. I get it. I, I was maybe a little bit affected more than you because I'm terrified of chimpanzees. If you had a chimp, I would no, never. Not. They're just they're just animal like a freaking you know like a fucking rabbit. Whatever. No, they're not, dude. <laughs> they're, yeah, not gonna, they they're not gonna rip your face off, dude. <laughs> you want Travis to chip over your place? Anyway, uh, but uh, whatever. You and I disagree with the monkeys. There, you don't like it. I think it makes sense to the story. We can disagree. All right. So you're talking about a movie yeah. that was too like at least thirty minutes too long. Uh, not. I don't think it's too long. Yeah, easily, easily. Mm. And we're not even talking about the monkey part. Yeah, okay. We're just talking about that slow. Oh, we're gonna stop here because that's what the movie did. Now we're gonna continue the movie. Okay, now we'll finally give you some information. What do you What do you want, man? 
Like, what, what's the problem with this? This movie was like nails across a chalkboard. It was slow and agonizing to watch. I like this movie. I think it's 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 I, sensitive that that's the Jordan Peele's work to me. I really wanted to like it. I went in there. I even wore my Stephen King fucking button up shirt. I was fucking excited. I was wearing freaking horror movie fucking socks. I was excited. One, not a horror movie. Well, did it's you a want thriller? Yeah. Well, did you want a horror movie? Yeah, because that's what was advertised to me, Chris. And then plenty of movies that advertised incorrectly. They said a horrific experience. There's some horrific parts in this movie, dude. That's just that house scene. Horrific. Horr- Not a horror movie. It's a thriller. It's sci-fi. A sci-fi thriller. And you hated it. Sci-fi thriller. And you hated it. Man, I wanted to like it. There's I really a, did. There's not anything that would give this above that. Even when, even when the ship is made out to be some Dude, crazy this is so much better than device. Death Wish. So much better than Death Wish. Can you give you an STD tag? Dude, I get that you. I get that you know Death Wish is a suck ass movie. This isn't a suck ass movie. There's all right, dude. There's a difference on doing something because it needs to be there, and then there's there's a reason for acting like you're over intelligent and overthinking a movie, like. And then just so critics can go, you didn't understand it. You didn't no, get no. why the monkey's there. So you don't get art. You just don't get art. No, I'm just saying. I'm and just that's saying. literally what this movie's made for. It's made for a bunch of people that want to be stuck up, look down their noses, and tell people they don't understand so they can't criticize it. No, I'm not saying you can't criticize it. I'm not saying we have a difference of being, and I, I, I get that. You know, I don't know if you're right. calling me a stuck up person. Other critics can tell me because you're you're literally reacting the same way they did. No, I just think you're wrong, and that's fine. Exactly, you think I'm wrong yeah. because no one can have another perspective. I just said that. I just said. We, we I didn't just said I get the it. Art. I just we said didn't get the art. The monkey killing people was part of the art. No, you. For some reason, you think I don't understand. You have a different meaning, and I don't accept it. I do. It's not, it's not an issue for me. For some reason, you think when you don't like something, I'm attacking you personally. Well, I'm never attacking you personally. I'm attacking your view on it, but I'm not attacking your you personally. I don't have a, a bad view of you after this. I can't wait to do a podcast next week because I love you. All right? But I don't like, I don't, uh, nope. If you're saying I'm wrong, I think you're wrong. That's fine. It's just a fucking movie that is a difference of opinion. And that's fine. Hey. Nope's a nope. No, nope's a no for you. It's a yes for me. <laughs> it's a nope's a no for you. It's a yeah for me. <laughs> All right. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the thing that did work in this movie. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> can we? Nothing. Can we both agree I, the house scene was pretty cool? The house. The scene. house scene was cool. Yes. Okay. Don't get me wrong. And that's when I thought this movie has been good. And then they showed me that the alien was really a jellyfish floating in the sky. <laughs> And I was like, really, dude? Like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I I like to describe the alien as as a jellyfish. (laughs) Yeah, it's a jellyfish in the sky. Literally, that's the problem with this movie was the fact that the build up to what the big reveal was. Did you want like, did you not, the big reveal was not worth it. Did you, did you want like, like actual like aliens within the ship? You didn't want a giant creature? I don't know what I wanted, but they gave me a build up that did not pay off. For you, for you, I wasn't. I was into the build up. Oh, for, for plenty of people that like good artistic things, <laughs> right. and I didn't even do any of the freaking uh, damn things during this whole conversation, this whole time, because you were yelling at me the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Because I didn't understand about a fucking monkey. Jeez, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did by the way I did notice the fries like trying to my business prior to the films were released like long as time yeah. ago. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, man. Uh next week I mean that right there, that fact right there shows you this movie. <laughs> the 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 horse metal pair of scissors? All right, man. What's well, it has to have a prop from another suck ass movie. You didn't like us the right you didn't like us that much, did you? The, yeah, the ending was weird. Just like this. That's what I'm trying to say. He doesn't know how to execute the ending. Great. Matches in wrestling can be good. 
but it's only great when the three count is worth something. And this didn't make it feel like it was worth anything. All right, let's get done with this because my wife's out front and I want to go eat food. All right, I'll text you movies we're going to watch, right? Um, you guys, yeah, I'll take a look at some stuff today. Okay, v- Vengeance to is the one in theater. If you can if you can see it, I really, uh, really like to talk about it. But whatever. Um, you find some movies. You find I live in Tulsa. I don't live in Kansas City. I'll send you the time for AMC. <laughs> But um, vengeance. Uh, but but no, yeah. Uh, next week uh, we'll be back. Always. Are we doing Thursday again? We going back Thursday. Yeah, we should be able to do Thursday. Okay, cool. You can find us on any movies on such Oh, I might have to do it later in the day though. That's fine. Uh, I just remembered I got to do the whole afternoon shifts. This yeah, week. I, I can definitely do late on Thursday. Uh, you can find us on any movies on such net. We're on Facebook at facebook.com dot com slash so podcast. We're on Twitter. I need this podcast. We're on Instagram. Empty this podcast. Either you know, let us know if Neil's wrong or if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can see. It, so you, you can go to Patreon. Patreon hustlers. You can Patreon. I'm Patreon right. hustlers don't suck. We're on bonfire. So movies don't suck. Something to do for uh, merch, and we're on all stream platforms. You can find podcasts. Got I mean, movies don't suck. And something to do. What do you do for small businesses? Mm-hmm. You know? Touch each other in our private markets. I don't think we do that for small businesses. What do we do? Oh, no, no, that's not what we do for small business. If you got a small business, let us know. Give us some information. Send an email. Send us a private message. Uh, DM Chris uh, at his actual uh, <laughs> Facebook profile, Chris Owen. Um, definitely give that directly oh, yeah. DM to him. Oh, you want me to take care send of Send him it? nudie pictures. What? Send I, him nudie pictures. I, I try to explain that to my wife. To get pictures, dicks. Yeah, I'll put up on my phone. Pictures. And don't and it don't even have to be of you, just of uh, <laughs> nudie things that you see in the world. And anyway, um, yes, if you have a small business or your friends have a small bu- business, uh, dude, seriously, let us know. We want to help them out as much as possible. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Huh? That's another episode of Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. Guys, sometimes in life, we got to see what's right in front of our eyes. So when a movie's called Nope, just pass it by. Have a good night. Chris disagrees. <laughs>